John F. Kennedy had said, when power leads man towards arrogance, poetry reminds him of his limitations. When power narrows the area of man's concern, poetry reminds him of the richness and diversity of existence. When power corrupts, poetry cleanses. So true, I'm a better human being, making us aware of our deeper feelings. As T.S. Eliot had said, poetry may make us from time to time a little more aware of the deeper, unnamed feelings which forms the substratum of our being to which we rarely penetrate, for our lives are mostly a constant evasion of ourselves. Poetry binds the hearts of people in one thread, poem travels beyond boundaries, reaffirming our common humanity by revealing to us that individuals everywhere in the world share the same questions and feelings. Recognizing the unique ability of poetry to capture the creative spirit of the human mind, UNESCO has proclaimed March 21 as the World Poetry Day. The day aims to support linguistic diversity through poetic expressions and to offer endangered languages the opportunity to be heard within their communities. A few lines or a few pages and you have a result, an outcome that answers even some of the most difficult questions. Hans Christian Andersen had explained what living in the true sense means through few lines, which say, to move, to breathe, to fly, to float, to gain all while you give, to roam the roads of lions remote, to travel is to live. Among world's greatest poets, many are from Asia. From the works of Rabindranath Tagore to Chinese poet Wang Wei, from Israeli poet Yehuda Amshai to Fez Ahmed Fez, poets from Asia have contributed immensely to enrich the world of poetry. Basho, Lipo, Kazi Nasrul Islam, Mirza Ghalib, Sarojini Naidu, Bey Dao are other renowned poets from the continent. Poetry has a power to inspire. It motivates to leave behind all fears and undertake a new journey every day. Few lines by one of the greatest poets of all times, Rabindranath Tagore, perfectly explains the significance of poetry. His poem, Where the Mind is Without Fear, was written at a time when India was under the British rule and people were eagerly waiting to get their freedom from the British rule. This poem gave a lot of strength to the people who were struggling for India's independence. The words are, Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where the knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert stand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Inside Asia Desk, DD News.